This morning in Today Climate, we're going to shine a light on an indigenous reservation in South Dakota that was facing a food crisis. Well, they came up with a solution that's a creative way to grow fresh food year-round, even in the harshest of conditions, by harnessing the power hmm. of the earth. Green things growing is pretty amazing considering what you've seen outside. Rayson Rains lives on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. You can see the long greenhouse in the snow. The area deemed a food desert, meaning healthy, affordable options aren't always nearby. Grocery stores scarce and poor health conditions prevalent. And when the pandemic hit, community leaders were concerned produce would become even harder to come by. So we started looking at ideas. How can we accomplish feeding ourselves if the, if the roads are shut down? So the district pooled together their funds to build a greenhouse on the reservation. It's a multi-family level of food production so that we could grow as much food as possible in a year-round basis. It took three years for the Wakpomni Lake Community Greenhouse to become fully functional, built four feet underground. Here is the actual geothermal tubes that are 10 feet deep to grab the Earth's ambient air temperature. It's actually 52 degrees, so during the winter time, that's nice and hot for our cold weather temperature crops. And then during the summertime, that's nice and cool for our hot weather temperature crops. Allowing Rayson and his team to provide consistent free produce to more than 40 families in the area. It's a gift from ourselves to ourselves. But he's not the only Pine Ridge resident working to bring food to the Lakota people. This is Natalie Hand. She works with Conscious Alliance, a local nonprofit and food pantry that gives free supplies to those in need. For the most part, it's, you know, your standard processed canned goods, which is fine for emergency food relief, but for the long term, you know, we want people to eat healthier. Healthy eating means figuring out how to grow crops on the reservation's 2.1 million acres, land that is rocky, cold, where harsh winds are a threat to crops and above ground greenhouses. That's just an, an indicator of how fierce the wind is out here on the plains. Having visited an underground greenhouse like Rayson's, Natalie realized the answer was right beneath her feet. When it was 20 below zero that winter, it was 52 degrees down in their greenhouse and they were growing broccoli. Inspired, she decided to build her own. We have a clear polymer roof. We're plotting out what vegetables, what fruits we can grow down there. And, you know, this first year will be kind of a, a test run for us. It's exciting. After securing a grant, Natalie aims to complete the project by next month, hoping this access will help residents stave off chronic illnesses like diabetes, which affects as many as 16% of American Indian adults. Dialysis is just like a normal thing here, and we're trying to, to change the tide. And a lot of people want to eat healthier, they just don't have access to healthy, you know, reasonably priced produce. For Natalie, the greenhouses represent the future of the Lakota community. When we broke ground, we wanted to give it a name that, that traditional speakers would understand and interpret. Oyate Ta Owoju is the people's garden. So that's what this greenhouse is, is going to be called. That's amazing. Natalie's greenhouse should be completed next month. In all, that's going to make eight underground greenhouses that are either built or being built on the reservation. And this summer, Rayson and his team are opening up a farmer's market, which they hope will help the community generate some revenue from the extra harvest. And you can now learn more. Need help making a difference? Hey, Siri, how can I reduce my carbon footprint? Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.